limiters. To get to the DSP limiters, go to Scheme, hit Limiters, Settings, and you will go to the limiters in the DSP. These are not the voltage output limiters. These are limiters on the Sharp chip in the DSP. This area is Channel 1 RMS. This is Channel 1 Peak Limiter. This shows real-time limiting, and this is a two-minute window to help you set up these limiters. The bottom is channel 2. We have a cross link mode. So if you had a bi-amplified box, both the low and the high would limit together if this box is checked and they are both enabled. On the RMS limiter, we have power versus voltage at 8 ohm. This is a standard limiter like everybody pretty much makes. We instituted a power versus current at 8 ohm, and we're curious to hear comments from the field on this particular setting. However, I want to talk specifically about true power limiting. True power limiting is a unique way of limiting. Opposed to looking at power versus voltage at 8 ohm, though, let's go back to the impedance screen and take a look. If I was a limiter and everything was at 8 ohms, is what you can see it is not. It's approximately where the reference is right? 8 ohms. However, what true power limiting does is it doesn't look at 8 ohms. It looks at the actual impedance of the transducer or transducers connected. So you could say I want it to give this much power anywhere it is on this path. If I was an amplifier, down here it would be very easy to produce let's say 10 watts and up here it would take a little bit of juice to get 10 watts. So what this is is true thermal limiting. If I go back to my limiter and engage it at 10 watts for just this sample since we're in a laboratory, uh, it will be making a calculation no matter where you are on the impedance curve saying current, voltage, impedance, frequency and power. It's a very, very lot big algorithm uh, and it sounds, the limiter actually sounds pretty good. So, when we're looking at these meters, this is a real-time limit. This is how much approximate RMS power is coming out of the amplifier. This is the headroom to get to the threshold. And this is actually showing you a graph of how much gain reduction on the limiter is getting intact. So typically, we recommend 25 to 50% of the AES rating of the transducer if you're using true power limiting due to the impedance curve. These are extremely effective limiters and uh, however none of the manufacturers will be setting these up because you use boxes in two, three, four box combinations. We can handle down to 0.8 ohm and when you put parallel drivers you obviously have to increase the power appropriately.